In today's episode, we are going to try to find out why. Uh... So yeah, we are going to try to find out why we have this uh, rough idle. It's kind of strange uh, because uh, I've already changed everything as a precaution on this car: coils, uh, spark plugs, uh, venous solenoids, and stuff like that. So yeah, I uh, have a small uh, idling issue only in the morning Oops. and if you have this issue as well uh, stay tuned uh, and uh, let's start digging uh, deeper into this problem to find out what's really happening so yeah let's begin uh, it's very strange because the car doesn't have any error code nothing no check engine light nothing the idle is going to fluctuate uh, too much and it's not normal that uh, but just for the first 10 seconds and after that everything is normal and uh, this happens every morning yeah so it's something strange in here um, I scanned the car like I said no codes I've replaced a lot of um, in fact let me show you I replaced all the gaskets in here everything as you can see the engine is very clean no leaks nothing we have a new valve cover gasket we have a oil filter housing gasket uh, we have new venus yeah so we have new coils new spark plugs uh, and i've done these uh, parts not that the engine was having this rough idling because i bought the car and i've changed everything as a maintenance precaution yeah um, but like I've said, I think just in the last uh, few weeks I've noticed this uh, rough idle and um, like I've said, I've already done these uh, parts that everyone said you have to change when you have this rough idle and I have this rough idle. So if you watch my videos, you know that uh, I've removed the uh, engine cover to change the gasket nut because it was leaking because uh, this engine had a few problems with the sludge inside uh, I think uh, the o last owner didn't change the oil <laughs> at all I think uh, if you want to see how this engine uh, it was inside just uh, click here or here yeah um, and uh, in today's episode I'm gonna show you a small trick that I've noticed nobody knows about it or nobody shows it on camera or on, on internet so uh, um, this Venus yeah, solenoids they have two filters in here they are exactly here underneath this bracket that holds these cables you will have two uh, T40 Torx 40 uh, screws in there and uh, BMW calls them non-return valves something like that it's a long screw with a diaphragm inside and uh, it's going to keep the solenoids the venous uh, with oil yeah it doesn't uh, leave the oil to return on the sump so anyway uh, and since my engine was completely clogged here I'm pretty sure that these two filters are clogged as well and that's why I have this uh, rough idle and uh, like I said everything else is changed rough idle without any error codes so yeah I'm gonna try to put a camera so I'm struggling to show you what's in there so you can see maybe now yeah you can barely see these are the two ones yeah these are t40 like i've said torque 40 and are on top on each other under the manifold itself or maybe above I cannot tell because I'm using I'm looking into a mirror yeah so anyway I've uh, show you the location it's right under this bracket that holds these cables Ooh, that's hot so the engine is too hot uh, in order to work 
I'm gonna leave it cool for a bit and after that we are going to try to take them out without uh, removing the wheel arch and uh, if I don't have enough space in here I'm going to uh, remove the wheel arch and I'm going to use a long uh, adapter to take them out so now I have I put the tool in there and I'm gonna start removing the first one and uh, I hope I hope it's in, in a bad shape because other than that I have no idea why I have this rough idol so I had to come here in the shadow because it's burning outside as you can see I've covered the car it's extreme hot and uh, I've managed to take one out and uh, in my case I'm pretty sure that this is the problem because like I've said this is a non-return valve as a filter for the Venus and as you can see the filter is clogged yep let me go in the shadow yeah and this is a, a related problem with the burnt oil from my uh, engine yeah I replace everything I've cleaned everything and uh, just these two filters I have to clean the second one is out yep and the same problem clogged I'm going to clean everything put back everything and start the car and the hope the idle is going to be steady just clean one yeah and this is how it should look like yeah, but uh, the mesh it should be clear and the oil uh, should go through and this is I just uh, blow this one off with the air gun but um, I just have to clean the the holes as you can see clearly in here the holes are free and where the darks is the burned oil are uh, clogged so uh, the oil is not uh, going through that much in here I'm going to clean this one as well like this one put everything back together and test it now we're talking yeah as you can see are like brand new I'm going to clean in there as well I'm gonna try because it's very tricky it's very tight in there uh, install uh, these two filters and uh, start the car and since we are here I've uh, removed the uh, Venus solenoids just to show you that are brand new as you can see um, you will have two rubber gaskets yeah um, you can install it like this and when you push this inside this rubber uh, gasket is going to be in here something like that yeah uh, they have just uh, one bolt each 10 millimeters yeah are located in here the upper one intake the second one exhaust you have to be careful when you plug it back don't mess the connectors the straight one yeah this as you can see comes straight from the loom goes to the uh, intake to the upper one and there is another one just a second Ooh, very hard to get in there yeah and as you can see this one is not straight it has like a 90 degree bend goes to this one from underneath that the exhaust one and uh, when you are removing uh, these plugs you just have to press this something like that yeah press and unplug after that 10 millimeter bolts here and here and just wiggle it a little bit and take it out everything put back together installed the filters the venus let's see Oops. just a second to put the camera in here now
so now everything is oiled yeah the filters are full with oil the venus are uh, with oil and from now on we shouldn't have any rough idle and it seems to me that <laughs> problem solved so this engine should run uh, 600 rpms on idle yeah uh, we have now seven eight hundred um, uh, we just have to wait a little bit till the engine is warm and we are going to see 600 rpm if everything works normally so yeah let's wait a little bit but I think it's problem solved because as you can see it's not uh, jumping around anymore oh look at that yeah it's dropping we have to see 600 rpm and steady stay there please <laughs> stay there I think it's problem solved boys yeah I see a steady idle I can uh, tell 100% it's a job done so yeah if you find this video useful if uh, you like what you saw please give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video thumbs down until next time see you later